but we don't have to do that, right? Because we're free. We're free to speak this word. We are free to speak this word. Yeah, these people, they're, they're mad at you. They're mad at you because you took the hard path. You took the hard path and you're still prospering in some, in some ways because the Lord's backing you. The Lord ain't backing them, right? They got a bunch of people with a demonic spirit backing them. But right? another guy, see, ran into his handler, right? This gets tacky, man. Same old tactics from the enemy, all right? See what else we got. So Lord, you, he brought immortality to us, man. Immortal. And we go live the same way, go to Corinthians, bear with me. Let's go. All right? You need a whole bloody city to take one person down. And you're still failing. Bear with me. This is 1 Corinthians 15 and 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. Right? So, this is the mystery that we're going to be reading. Okay? I show you a mystery. What well, Paul's going to expound to his elect. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. So it says we're going to be changed. We're not going to all sleep. We're not all going to die. We shall be changed. So the elect are going to be changed. Right? Yes, they're going to be changed. Right? Giving them new bodies as well. But we shall be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. A twinkling of an eye, just shut your eye quick. That's how fast we're going to be changed. Right? And that's why, this way you got a whole pin, man. This way you got, this way, your expectation has to be in this. This way your expectation has to be. It's lucky, the camera's so dark, I don't know why it does that. That's where your expectation has to be, man. Has to be in this word right here. Okay. That's where it has to be. So Lord's gonna bring us immortality. Right? And constant immortality. And that really begins now. That begins when you wake up to this truth. That's when the immortality begins. Okay. And it says, check this out. Where was I? Behold, I'll show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. So we're going to be changed. Come on now. But we shall all be changed. So the Lord's going to change us, man. The Lord's going to change our bodies. Right? And it says, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, that trump is trumping. So that trumpet's gonna sound. Right? In the lava of that trump. Right? That trumpet, that war trumpet. We shall all be changed. So we gotta be changed, man. Oh, we gotta be changed, man. And in that kingdom, you ain't gonna have no, you ain't gonna have no occults. You ain't gonna be worshipping no demons, man. You ain't going to have people getting on the phone. Yeah, he's just turned left, he's turned right. You ain't going to have that in our kingdom, right? You ain't going to have no, no have no gang stalking in our kingdom. That's going to get put right out. That's, that stuff's going to get put right out. The last point in the end to all that occult rubbish, man. Okay. And it says, and it says, for the trumpet shall sound. So that trumpet, that war trumpet. The angels are going to sound that. Okay? And it says, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. So those that have died are going to be raised incorruptible, man. Living forever. That's what it means. Yeah. You ain't going to have no one that's useless in our kingdom. You're bloody useless. And he just. <laughs> and it says, man, Kishore, you got to have fun with this. And it says, they're bloody useless. And it says, check this out. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Right? The dead shall be raised. Okay. 
and we shall all be changed. So we're going to be changed as well. For this corruptible, this slacker, for this, I'm moving too fast. For this corruptible, must put on incorruption. So this corruptible flesh has to put on incorruption, man. We get pains in the flesh, we get sicknesses, we get pains, all them things. Right? But all that's going to change, man. It says that in Revelations. There shall be no more pain. No more, man. No more crying. No more of them things in our kingdom, man. Okay? You ain't going to have none of that. Right? You ain't going to have no trafficking in our kingdom. Right? You ain't going to have none of that. Bear with us a minute. And it says, And more shall put on immortality. Men shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. So death's gonna be swallowed up as well. Death ain't gonna have no victory, man. The grave ain't gonna have no victory over us. We ain't gonna be immortal. And that immortality, it really starts now in the mind. Because immortality is a, is, a, is a mindset. Immortality is a mindset. So that immortality starts right now within these scriptures. You become immortal through your, your mindset and believing in Yahweh Shai and having in that faith. And it says, check this out. And death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? It doesn't have victory over the elect, right? It doesn't have victory over the elect, right? These cult, these cult members, they don't have victory over the elect. I say hope for elect. Or over you have a shy, right? They don't. Okay, maybe just a minute. You know what I'm saying? This is still useless, man. Oh, these are these are cult these are cult members, bro. You are put on some cult list. Who knows? Could it could have been family? Could have been someone that had links to the occult, right? Listen, all it takes is one person that has a link to the occult to put you on that list, right? And remember, this is how the occult. This is how they do. Remember, they all follow the leader. Look at look at in history, occult leaders. They were tyrannical. And they had to follow, they had to follow the orders of the cult. They have to follow the orders of the leader. They had to follow the, the orders. Right? So there was someone that was a part of the occult, right? And they were told, they told these other occult members to stalk you for whatever reason. Many are a jealousy. But guess what? We don't care about that. Because we go serve Yahweh Shai. And these people are very highly narcissistic as well. They probably done it because they see you were excelling. You were growing in this truth. And they never liked it. So guess what? They went and sent the occult out onto you. But guess what? We don't care. We don't care. And as for me and my house, we gonna serve the Lord Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. That's who we gonna serve. And we're not gonna be bullied into a corner. We're not gonna be manipulated. We're not gonna do that by your cult, right? And you don't have to join the cult. Oh yeah, we're gonna force him. You ain't gonna force me to do anything. You ain't gonna force me to do anything, right? Duff said for Lord Jehovah, show me I was shy. What? Baby, just a minute, you got these people on the bus looking at me, like I'm doing something wrong. I'm reading the Bible. Why are you shaking your head? Why are you shaking your head? Huh? We go serve the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you, sir. So that's what we're going to do. The brother just said, God bless you, man. Thank you, sir. So we go going to stay firm. Right? That's what we're going to do. Right? We don't want to drain that rubbish. Right? Get out of here with that rubbish. Right? So basically, someone sent Satan unto you, basically. Right? But we're going to stay firm in what we believe. We're going to shut off sin as well. Excuse me just a minute. 
So it says, check this out. But thanks be to the Heavenly Father, which has given us the victory through our Lord Yahushua Mashiach. So we got the victory. It says it. Thanks to our Lord that has given us the victory. The victory, the victory has already, it's already been given. The victory has already been given, man, to us. So we haven't lost, so you got to have a, a victorious mindset. You gotta have a victorious mindset. Not a victim, see? They want us to be victims, man. They try to turn you into a victim, man. No, we're not victims. We are victorious. Right, right. 444, triple seven, come on. 444, four, triple seven, all in one. 444 four represents mercy. Triple seven represents perfection. Okay, so the Lord's also showing us signs. Spiritual signs, man. That he's dealing with us, man. You're doing the Lord's work in sincerity and truth. He ain't gonna leave you stranded, man. Now the world, the world may forsake you. The Lord ain't gonna leave you stranded. That's why you gotta have faith. Like George Michael said. You gotta have faith, faith, right? The whole world. The whole world is watching us, man. Our every move. Right? They're watching us. Right, bear me just a minute. Where was I? Hold on. And death, where was that sting? Alright. So yeah, death, where was that sting? Doesn't have no sting. Because the Lord overcame all this. Okay. You worried about you worried about some cult members, man. These are people that are under heavy mind control, man. Mind control. We're gonna shut off soon. And it says check this out. Therefore, my beloved, be steadfast. Steadfast, man, firm. The Lord wants us to be steadfast in our belief system. Alright? Unshakable, steadfast, and it says unmovable. So he doesn't want us to be moved by everything we see around us. You moved, you're agitated, unmovable. So you're you're firm. You stay you stay on your square, so they call it. You stay on your square, unmovable. That's what it means to really have faith. We are unmovable. Okay. Yeah, they thought they could send the Illuminati. They thought they'd send the Illuminati to stop us. Not even that can stop us. <laughs> See, they sent the Illuminati, but not even that can stop us. Right? Come on. And it says unmovable. Abounding in the work of the Lord. Abounding. Abounding, so we want to abound, increase. So the Lord has it where we abound. And we, are we increase in this word, right? Constantly abounding, man, getting better. Now, sometimes it may feel like you're going in a loop, but you can break out of that, man. And guess how you break out of that? By changing your patterns, man. Change your patterns. And that's how you break out of that loop. Right? By changing patterns. So change your patterns over time. And therefore, you can break out of them vicious cycles where you feel like you're just going in a loop. That's what you can do. Right? The Lord's going to destroy these cult members, man, that are coming after you, that are seeking your soul. Bear me just a minute. We got shots. Knowing that your labor is not in vain. So a labor is not in vain, man. It's in vain if you stop. Right? That's when it's in vain. But it's not in vain if you continue to endure. Endure, endure. I don't say that all the time. Endure, endure, and endure. 
Nah, bro, you don't gotta worship Satan to make it. How do I know that? How do I know? Because you got people within this kingdom, all right, they worship Satan, but they're still, they're still worse off. I'm not talking about all certain people. But they're still worse off. They're, in a, they're still in the worst position. They ain't really climbed up that ladder. So that's a lie. Now you got some people that are selling out and they're successful, but that's only the very few. That's not everyone. That's only the few, right? So you know what? A few more scriptures now shut off. Look, looking at me all funny. Like, 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 like we're doing something wrong. Like, 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 like we're doing something wrong. You see, you see, you see the nerve of these devils. Ah, oh, he doesn't want to be. He doesn't want to be a satanist. So, oh no. Let's try to isolate him. But, but you got to understand this, bro. The logic of these devils, man. Right? No, we don't want to be a satanist. We want to serve Yahweh Shai with fear and trembling. So, babies, we're gonna shut off soon. We're gonna shut off. Hold on, just a minute. So, where was I? Where was I? Ah, oh boy. Playing up silly trap music as well. Let's go to Matthews. So we're gonna go to Matthews now. This is Matthews, right? Four, and check this out. This is verse eight. Again, the devil take him into an exceeding and high mountain. Key thing, exceeding and high mountain. To be tempted, so, Guess what? The Messiah was tempted as well by demons, man. So how we may get tempted, the Messiah was tempted as well. And it says, a shout from all the kingdoms of the world. So can you imagine all them different kingdoms that the Messiah was shown? All them different kingdoms of the world. And he turned it down. A shout from all the kingdoms of the world and glory of them. So you, you got to imagine that, different kingdoms and all that glory. But he turned it down. Right? I don't hear what that guy said, we're rubbish. He's just chatting nonsense. And it says, and it says, I shout from all the kings of the world and glory of them, say for him, all these things will I give thee. I want to give you all these things. I'll give you all these things, man. Shaking your head like you're down, but you're not really down for this, man. You ain't really down for this. Very true. And it says, all these things will I give thee would will fall down and worship me. Satan tried to proposition the father, Yahabashai. All these things will if thou will bow down and worship me. So bow down. The Satan wanted Yahabashai to bow down, man. <laughs> Okay, and it says, Then says Yahweh Shai unto him, Get thee then, Shatan. For it is written, Thou shalt what? Worship the Lord thy power, and him only should I serve. Where did they believe him? Behold, angels came and ministered unto him. So that's when the angels came and ministered. So that's how we got to be, integrity, man. So Lord, when I'm going to shut off, Lord, when this was edifying, and until the next time, Yah Shalom, and I want to say, Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Mahavakar Kwadash Abad Shatan Abad Shatan Shalawam Alright First and foremost I want to give all honors and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahawa Bahasham Yahabashai Bahasham Mahavakar Kwadash Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And who I reverence and honors to the apostles, 
that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because we are living in the last days of the last days and I want to say to what you have by Shem Shai for allowing me to minister to the hopeful elect in hopes they will be saved yes brother yes. Right, shalom and right, shalom right, that's what I'm saying brothers this is why I love it when um, people drive past and say you were Israelite they know about this truth man I right, see you can't stop this truth <clears throat> don't fret brothers I always say it's not everyone against you. These cult members, they want to they want you to believe that everyone is against you. They're trying to turn people against you. There's people that are listening to what you're saying. There's people that are receiving this word. Receiving the word with meekness, right? Which is able to save your souls. So we're doing a good work and you've got to believe that as well. Scripture says our labor is not in vain. So what we're doing is not in vain. Unless you stop. Unless you give up. So we're doing a good work, just continue pushing, continue striving. As soon willing, Lord willing, we'll be out of this place, man. Yahweh's just gonna come, crack through them clouds, and deliver his elect, right? Which are the nation of Israel, all right? Come on, stay motivated, come on now. We'll go to Timothy's one and seven. For the heavenly Father have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. That's what he's given us, right? Power of love and a sound mind. So a sound in mind and love, right? He ain't giving us the spirit of fear. It's lucky about the camera, it's a bit dark, but it doesn't really matter. It don't matter. So that's what he's given us. A sound, hold on, hold on, hold on. <coughs> A sound spirit, man, sound of mind. These people, they want you to be bugged out. They want you to seem like you're unstable. That's how they want to betray you, man. So they can get you off these streets. That's what they want. But like I said, it's not everyone that's against you. You're having those that are listening and that are receiving this word with meekness, right? Which is able to save their righteous souls. You have to believe in what you're doing is a good thing. The breakthrough is going to come, right? This guy's shaking his head. But the breakthrough is going to come, man. Just be patient, man. Okay? It may not seem like, oh, well, we're not getting very far. No, we are. Right? We are getting far, man. And you've got these witches and these warlocks, right? Certain people try, you can't stop what the Lord has ordained. You cannot stop. What Yahweh by Sham Yahweh has ordained, man. And if, if he's ordained us to grow, we're gonna grow. No matter what you do, it doesn't matter what you do, right? You send the whole city to come up against us. What does that say about you? What does that say about you? If you need to send the whole city to come up against one individual, right? And it says, verse eight, be not therefore ashamed. I was watching a few things on TV. Shame, sh bro, be not ashamed. We're not ashamed. You may be ashamed. No, there's a shame that brings it to repentance, but we're not walking around ashamed with our head down. Right, we're not doing that. Okay. People talk about shame. Bro, if you were ashamed, you wouldn't be able to teach this word. You'd be hiding in the spot somewhere. Okay. And it says, check this out. Be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of the Lord, nor me of his prisoner, but be partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the heavenly Father. Be not ashamed of the testimony. And me have that testimony, excuse me. And me have that testimony of Yahweh Shai. But it says, be not ashamed of that testimony that witness, were witnesses to Yahweh Shai. And what do they want to do? They want to take out the witnesses. They don't want us to speak the truth. That's why they're sending their agents. That's why they're sending these people. 
They want to put a filter, they want to put a lid on what we're saying. Because it exposes their wickedness. Right? It exposes their wickedness. Not what we're doing. We're standing up for righteousness, man. In a wicked world. But it so happens to be that they got these cult members, man. I don't care, there's more, there's more of us than them. It may seem like we're outnumbered, but we're not outnumbered. It says that in Kings. There's more of us than them. Right? Yeah, we see you, man. And your Havashai sees you as well, man. Right? And more of these people are going to start getting into car crashes as well. Right? Check this out, Baba Kasha. And it says, but be partaker of the afflictions. Right? Be partaker of the afflictions of the gospel. And they do that beeping to kind of mess with your mind as well. Sometimes you've got to ignore it. So be a partaker of the afflictions. The afflictions that we're going through. That's what we're being a partaker of. Right? Okay? The afflictions of Yahweh Shai. And it says, check this out, of the gospel according to the power of the Heavenly Father. So we got this gospel, but there's afflictions that come in the gospel. So we also get afflicted. And when these people mess up, listen, when these people mess up, they have to run right back to their hand. Right? That's who they have to run to. Right? Like I said, bro, you ain't gonna get the men of the Lord caught up in any type of scandal. They're trying to get you caught up in something, man. But the Lord ain't gonna allow that to happen if you belong to him. He ain't gonna allow that to happen. Okay? You best know that. You got people that want you to join their demonic ass, cut whatever, whatever rubbish it is. You gotta ignore that and stay in the truth. That's what we gotta do. Be rooted and grounded in this truth. And not shaken. See, the world, they want you to be shaken. No, no, we're not shaken. We're confident right here. Yeah, yeah, bless her, bless her. Oh, you're probably an Israelite, you're one of us, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You got so called white people. No, 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 I can't. No, no, I can't. Because now I have to stay on post, innit? It? It's for the whole. It's broadcasting. I'm broadcasting. No, look, they have been broadcasting. You can't broadcast, man. Alright, alright, alright. But that's how you know you got Israelite stuff. Look like white people, but they actually. I'm not like white. So cool, but I know you're, no, I you're one of yeah. us, man. You're one of us, so. Yeah, a lot of people are, are watching, man. A lot of people. That's why you gotta get. Come on, you gotta be upbeat about this. And the secret. I like you, man. I like you. Huh? About this truth, about this word. No? <laughs> Alright, these people are even just a minute. Alright, these people are trying to distract me, man. Bear me just a minute. Upbeat about what this truth. Right? See, these people, they want you to be. They want you to be depressed. They want you to be groveling, man. That's what they want you to be. They want you to be groveling, begging, please. Love, bro, we have that hope. Bear me just a minute. That's all I care about the camera as well. Yeah, bro, I, I see these people, man. I see them. But I ignore them. I don't give them my energy, man. Right? That's what they're trying to do. Satan wants you to tap into your energy for evil. So bear me just a minute. Verse 9, who have saved us. So it says saved. Saved from what? Our enemies. That's why it says who have saved us. So we are saved from something. Because most Christians says, well, everybody can be saved. Now, no, because then you wouldn't be saved. Saved from what? Sin and your enemies. Quickly go to Matthew's, Matthew's 1, 21. What should we be saved from? Our sins. So we're also being saved from our sins as well as well as our enemies. Luke 1 and I think it's 68 and 69. So the Lord is also saving his elect, okay, from our sins and our enemies, okay? And it says, check this out. No, oh, hold on. I'm, I'm excited today, I'm excited, all right? Come on, come on now. Don't let, don't let these people break your soul. But what they're trying to do, they're trying to break you down. See, Satan tries to break you down so we can lift you back up. 
right? But you ain't going to do that with the elect. And you know what? I'm thinking I might change this garment as well, right? Because it was given to me by someone that fell out of the truth, right? I wanna, I'm going to try to get another garment, right? Another garment and what so, right? But a lot of people say, are we Muslim? I hope I don't come across as that. No, I ain't no Muslim, man. We're not Muslims. I gotta put that out there, we're not Muslims. We're, we're the Hebrews, we're Hebrews. Israelites, we're not Muslims. Right, because a lot of people think that. Okay, so just here to tell you, no, we are not Muslims at all. Okay, we're Israelites, Hebrews. And it says, who have saved us and called us with a holy calling. So it says, key things saved and called with a holy calling. So this is a holy calling right here. This is a holy calling upon our lives. Many are called, few are chosen. Many are called, right. Many are called, few are chosen. So we're called, but we're hoping to be chosen, man. To be one of them chosen ones, right? So you could be chosen, you could be called, but not chosen. We're hoping to be called, and chosen by Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, in the hopes of being saved within these last days. And it says, not according to our works. I done a lesson on that yesterday. So it's not according to any of our own works, what we're doing. It's according to the faith, but according to his own purpose. So it's according to the Lord's purpose. Hi there. It's according to his purpose. What the Lord has set up for us, right? All oh, the sun's coming out now. Come on. And it says, check this out. And grace, and it's according to his grace. I done a lesson on that yesterday as well. Right? <laughs> you got the woman shaking her head in the car. So bloody what? And it says, which was given us in Mashiach, Yahavashai, before the world began. So there was a certain elect that were given to Yahavashai before this whole world began. Nobody can stop your destiny. Nobody can stop your calling, man. Nobody can. Now, can they put certain prevention measures and obstacles and make your life very hard? Yeah, they can do that. But they can't stop you being, a, they can't stop you from being saved. They can't stop that. So yeah, your life's gonna be very hard. You're gonna have people come up against you, but they can't really stop anything. And that's another lesson I want to do later on. Right? We have to stay motivated. And spiritually motivated, man, by your heart, by Shem Yahushai. Right? And focus on the things that are most important. Right, Benjamin? That's what we have to do. Right? Stay focused, man. Yo, bro, you got the world, bro. This is not a joke. You got the whole, whole entire world watching. The whole entire world. Watching what we're gonna do next. And it says, but now it's made manifest by the appearing of our savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who have abolished death. So, Satan tries to come with death threats. Oh, oh, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. Yahweh Shah is abolished death, man. Right? He's abolished. Okay. Still you says, bear this minute. And it says from Kisha. And he's abolished death. And it says, Baba Kisha. And have brought life and immortality. See, Yahweh Shah has brought life and immortality to us, man. Everlasting life. Huh? Now if you join, if you join a death cult, well that's not life, is it? And you got people running, running, running to their handlers. You got people running to their handlers, right? They have to report back. 